We asked a big question on Sunday, how many of you would like to know what's best? And I know that many of us have prayed that prayer. Father, show me what's best. Show me the right decision. And the key to knowing what's best is knowing God. And one of the practices that we settled in on Sunday was knowing God through his word. And I, would just, I wanna propose a big statement to you. If you are not intentionally discipled by Jesus, you are unintentionally being discipled by culture. John Maxwell makes this statement that culture eats vision for lunch. In other words, I can have a vision and a plan to be discipled by Jesus. But if I don't shift culture around me, if I don't change my practices and my, my actions and my beliefs, then it doesn't matter how many notes or journal entries I write, right? It, culture eats vision for lunch. And so we are being discipled by culture. So what is your culture filled with? And I wanna challenge you to settle into God's scripture this week, to make his word a priority to give 15 to 20 minutes of your daily routine, whether it's the morning, the afternoon, or evening. My best time is in the morning, so I want to give my best time to the Lord. Matthew 4, 4, Jesus makes this proclamation to the enemy of our souls, and he says, man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Life is in the voice of God, in the word of God. Power is in the voice of God. Restoration and healing is found in his word. So every time you go into the word, you should expect to encounter that. And sometimes, I know, because I do the same, I can over-romanticize my morning encounters with the Lord when I open up the scriptures. How many of you guys have ever approached it and you didn't get a heavy revy? It was kind of like, eh, you know what I mean? Guess what? That's okay. How many of you guys know that sitting with the word is just as valuable? Like, like settling in a scripture, reading one scripture, and it not giving you the fuzzy warm feelings is okay. Sit in it. I love sitting on the back patio with my wife because I'm in relationship with her. Sometimes we say very few words, and I want to charge you that you are in the presence of God when you open up his word. So this week, challenge you. Let's make a difference. Let's let's allow the difference maker to make a difference in us and let's begin to see our culture shift. I love you, Awaken family.